Hey ADV riders, it's Head to Wind again. Um, up to building some 950 LC8 stuff. Um, got a, a Super Enduro 950 EFI up on the lift right now. At least a, a 950 EFI project in the, in the works of. But um, got my bike uh, back together and running again. And uh, this thing's just just a hoot, just as a, a feed into what I'm going to talk about. We can listen to this this bad boy run. I just love the exhaust note on this. So there is a 950 um, running fuel injected, and uh, not that long ago, I built a, a Super Enduro with a 990 engine in it, and put fuel injection on it. Um, that that bike's done and running. Um, so far it's it's running pretty well um, this is the next project and um, I'm, I'm into it a little ways already um, I've already made the modifications to the intake manifolds to to make a little port match because the, the 990 ports are a little bit bigger than the 950 and um, aside from that it's it's pretty much you know, stock 950 at this point in time, except I've already gone into the, um, the clutch cover, pulled the clutch, and replaced the, the tone wheel that's on the, the crankshaft. It uh, looks like this bad boy right here. So, this is the 950 carbureted tone wheel, and the 990 tone wheel is been installed. So, goals of this project are um, altitude adjustment, running better across a, a wide range of, of altitudes, um, simplification of the stock wiring harness. We're also going to do um, something a little bit different on this one where we're actually going to do a frame mount uh, headlight assembly. Um, Probably going to make the, the key switch go away and, and a few other things kind of like the, the previous build. Um, the 950 engine is going to get um, a set of cams from a Super Duke. Um, and as soon as those are in and valves adjusted, lash adjusted, that kind of thing, um, I'm going to drop in. I've got a um, heat shield assembly that sets down over the throttle bodies, gives me a spot to run uh, the fine filter kind of in the V of the engine right here. Um, kind of like the, the previous build, the fuel pump's going to sit in this general area right here. We're going to run a, another Walbro GSL 393, that's the 150 uh, liter per hour pump. Um, again, it's it's massive overkill for this application. It's good for 400 horse, naturally aspirated, um, and you know, on a good day, this engine's going to put out roughly 125 horse. So, um, unfortunately, I haven't been able to find a good um, haven't find a, found a good inline filter or inline pump. Um, that's smaller than the the Walbro uh, that I've been running on these bikes. So, um, if anybody's got any suggestions, drop me a, a line on ADV Rider. I'm head to win, and uh, maybe maybe I can do something a little bit different on this one. But I'm going to do the the Flow Easy filters on this one as well. So it's going to have a uh, an 80 um, 
micron filter before the, fil the pump and then a 10 micron up in the V of the engine um, probably run a Cannondale fuel pressure regulator uh, body with a 3.5 bar uh, regulator installed from uh, basically it's from a BMW application a car application um, and then the idea at this point in time is to retain the stock tank um, and I need to re return fuel into it at some point so I don't know if I'm going to build a billet adapter for uh, the, the petcock or if I'm going to try and make a, uh, a penetration in the tank and and uh, seal it there that makes me a little leery I'd much rather go into a, a an already existing penetration and build like a block or something for return fuel but um, I already have the over here in the pile of many things um, right next to the little electric OSET which is a really cool little motorcycle that I made a, a day seat for <laughs> but anyway um, Super Duke engine this is where the cams are coming from it's a low mileage and it's like 5,000 miles on this thing. So I'm going to pull the cams out of that and drop them in to here. And been talking with a couple different ECU manufacturers, one of them being Bazaz. Um, they make a, a piggyback unit um, to the, the stock ECU. Um, might run one of those. Um, we'll see. Um, got to figure out what we're going to do. I've got a tune that's in my adventure that, that runs pretty well, but right now it's running without the O2 sensors. And for one of the, the build criteria of being able to deal with elevation changes and, and things of that nature, I'd really like to get the O2 sensors back on. Um, and still have writability. I mean, that's one of the major problems with trying to make this all work, right? So, there you have it. That's the uh, the general overview of this new 950, it's truly 950 engine uh, fuel injection in a Super Enduro. And if this one goes well, um, there's another one on the wings. So, go, cr go figure. Um, so, we'll see. All right, enjoy, thanks. Hey, since I started it with the, the, the sounds of a custom 950 exhaust, let's finish it with this. See you guys later.